I started about 65 years ago when I first bought this piece of property. I started off with three acres of crawfish, which I would do manually without a boat. And uh, of course, I progressed through the years. And uh, a few years later, I got to 20 acres, still, still doing it without a boat. Then I progressed up to 40 acres. That become a big chore, so I had to get a boat. To, but I was one of the first ones to sell crawfish in this area at the time. And it just so happened I had the largest crawfish they had in the area. I don't know for what reason, I don't know if it's the terrain, the food, the water. Everything was right evidently and I had some, it almost looked like lobsters. Through the years, the rice industry went out, the Hunter Canal closed down. So now we have a bunch of cane farmers and they have a bunch of pesticides and we kind of scared when it rained, we could pick up the water, but we was kind of scared. So we had to, we wind up putting our own well down. When I, was, when I was in my teenage years, I worked for my dad, and I would run 400 cages on foot, and that took me all day. Today, I have a crawfish boat with the open traps, and I can run 850 cages in four hours. Do people stereotype cages? People are, we, we, live in, we, we live in the water, we travel by pirogue and we eat alligators, you know, and now it came with the swamp people, and everybody loves the swamp people, but not everybody's like them. It's still showing us all living on the water, hills, forests, you know, and flatlands and, and, and farmland. So we, yeah, we, we don't all live on the water. I think, I think everybody should know a little bit about what farm work is like, you know? Because if you haven't been through it, you don't know how it is to butcher up the chicken and fry it or whatever. You know, say, oh, I wouldn't do that, you know. But back then, everybody would do that. It's changed over the years because it, it went from having a one working family, the father working, to now both people are working. Television and video games. Used to be you'd, you'd go visiting your family and you wouldn't stay home because you were bored. Now you sit home and watch TV and you don't see anybody unless they come to your house. And I find that's changed a lot of the family unity over the years. Back then you were more neighborly than you are today. Today I live in town and I know my neighbors by seeing them. I don't know them by name, most of them. When we pass through and tell them hi, goodbye, that's about the extent of it. Back then we used to visit and I thought that was wonderful because you got to know each other better. You know, different people knows how to do different things and you learn from them. Today, that's not happening. Wash their own clothes, and you have their own garden milk your own cows, kill your butcher your own pigs, and stuff like that, you know. Where today, most people don't even know where milk comes from, you know. Back then, we had all of that. People are getting more health conscious, especially now with the, uh, with the antibiotics they're talking about putting in the pigs and the chickens and the hogs, you know, and years ago, people never really thought about it, but now they're finding it's having an effect on the whole culture, on everybody. So everybody's getting a little more conscious of where their food comes from and how it's raised, you know. And organic looks like it's the thing, thing to be in the future, you know. <laughs>